Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for December the 13th, 2022. So let's see what is coming through. We've got, oh, the Three of Swords. Gosh, we don't want that. But anyway, something, um, this is the Three of Swords. Perhaps something is, this is a wound that's come up to be looked at or healed. Something is hurting you. Let's see what is coming in around that. Eight of Cups, and you're going, I'm emotionally detaching from that. I'm walking away. What you've said or done has hurt me or that just isn't feeling right for me anymore. The judgment energy, it's something needs to be cleared up here. Um, and so it's almost like you, yeah, there's, there's Nine of Cups and the Magician energy. It's like you've got an opportunity here to walk away from an energy that is just hurting you and not feeling right here with the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords. I mean, uh, but what you're moving towards is this judgment energy, which is very, very strong messages of uh, something calling you here. It's a sense of rebirth, but it's a review process. You kind of need to review and clear and clean and and clear stuff out before you can move into something a lot more fulfilling, which is this nine of cups here, something that you'd like to nurture and grow in your life that is bringing more fulfillment. So it's interesting because the eight of cups is walking away going, you know, I tried all those cups. One was found, it was found missing. There's something missing here. And we can see it's walking away from the Three of Swords. Um, that cup that was missing, it felt like a, either a futile search or it's just like, that's it. I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm connecting to this anymore. And it's gone, it, the Eight of Cups goes on the search for the Nine of Cups. And I love how it comes in. So it really is this opportunity here and listen to the messages of spirit. With the judgment energy, this could be announcements, news, or any kind of message that comes through to you, whether it's like a soul message where you're realizing you can finally kind of lay that to rest or let that go and detach from that, which is actually really nice and be more of an internal energy. The Queen of Pentacles is very divine feminine, but it's like, you know what? I've got something, the Queen of Pentacles is holding something in her hands that she really values and nurtures and feels valuable and it feels stable. It feels like it's on stable ground. It feels like, you know, this feels good to me and so therefore it's fulfilling as well with the Nine of Cups. I'm going to nurture what feels right and put my energy towards the stuff that I want to put it towards, not the things that are not feeling great. And so interestingly with the Magician energy, this is where, you know, you can suddenly something comes into your conscious awareness and you were like perhaps this Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups energy is just was something that was there underlying that you didn't even realise or it just didn't connect or it just suddenly like became really obvious but it's suddenly becoming very consciously aware of this energy and going, right, I'm <laughs> moving on from it. So um, the Magician energy is also very much like a working at the how, like how am I going to do this? How am I going to nurture something that I find really fulfilling or how am I going to nurture this stability? How am I going to nurture this thing that I really love? Like it's focusing in on something really positive in your life. Um, and the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, she's the Capricorn Queen. She's got, um, she's holding on to the pentacle going, I like this, I want to nurture it and I want to build upon it. I want to keep it as it is and and I don't want it to go backwards, I want it to move forwards. And so I really feel like it's a great day for just um, understanding what it is, that, where you're putting your energies, absolutely, where you're focusing your energies and what, and it, you know, you don't want to put your energy towards something that doesn't feel great. And so, but it does feel like there's bigger energies of play with the magician and the judgment card um, that you're being called into action in some way, shape or form to clear out an old energy. So to make way for positive new energy to manifest in your life with the magician energy. And um, I do feel like you're going to be very strongly guided with that angel right in the center. It's like heralding, talking to you. Um, but there is the cloud between the messages from the divine and what needs to be cleared out. So it may be just deciphering those messages and trying to work out what 
um, what it means <laughs> might be um, something that comes in around that. But once you get the clarity, you understand the message and it's like, yeah, I get the message, okay. <laughs> I, I feel like you're getting the message loud and clear, whatever or whoever it comes from with the judgment energy and it may just be, I mean, if someone says or does something that you really don't like, it's like, yeah, I get that message and I'm not wanting to be around you anymore. I want to be around somebody that I do really like or, you know, so well, either way you're getting a very strong message here and um, moving towards fulfilment and something you want to nurture. So, yeah, I think the spirit is guiding you in the right direction, which is actually really nice. So that is your reading for the 13th. Thank you so much for joining me and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Always forget to say that. And uh, because that does let YouTube know that you support the channel and helps with the growth of the channel and take care.